642 here on Daybreak. A little over a century ago, Buffalo became the city of light thanks to the work of a genius named Nikola Tesla, who brought hydroelectricity from the falls to Buffalo and changed the world. In this morning's unknown story of Western New York, Daybreak's Pete Gallivan tells us about the huge celebration that was held downtown to mark that event, as well as plans now underway to remember the feat and the man behind it. January 12, 1897. It was a celebration for the agents. The power banquet was probably one of the biggest uh, uh, events, party events to ever happen in Buffalo. It attracted all the who's who's of society at the time, from the Vanderbilts to the Rockefellers. More than 400 of the biggest movers and shakers of the day packed into the 10th floor of the brand new Ellicott Square building, the largest office building in the world at the time. The keynote speaker for the event, none other than Nikolai Tesla. And it was to celebrate the accomplishment of the first long distance transmission of AC power, alternating current power from the falls to Buffalo. That first transmission, November 15th, 1896, was marked by a 21 gun salute over the Niagara River and powered the city trolley system. But it was just the start. Buffalo History Museum director Melissa Brown says it's also a story that she really didn't hear much until she started working here. When I was growing up and learning history, you know, his story was not one that you would find in your history book. It was really the Edison story of electricity. Slowly but surely, though, the Tesla story of advancement in AC power and invention has been picking up steam, especially here in Buffalo. I think Tesla, as far as his contributions to, to utterly changing our whole world, have just been touched on. In fact, in all likelihood, if it weren't for Tesla and his work at Niagara, the Pan Am Expo may never have come here in the first place. It was one of the biggest drivers for bringing the Pan American Exposition to Buffalo. Coincidentally, this film of the Pan Am and all its splendor was captured by Tesla's chief rival, Thomas Edison. Uh, electricity and selling that point and having the cheap availability of alternating current power from Niagara Falls was a huge part in, in, in gaining the exposition here. Even in, in 1901, a lot of people here in your own personal lives would not have used alternating current power and to see something on that scale would have been quite staggering. And now a century later, efforts to recognize those feats continue. This past fall, a Tesla Fest was held in Buffalo and now the organizers of that event are working on another project, a statue. This is a 3D printing of what it might look like. The actual sculpture will be produced by world-famous artist Larry Griffiths III. Marty McGee took me to the spot where he would like to see the statue stand on this unnamed parkland downtown next to one M&T Plaza. And the statue would be facing Niagara River. And it would also stand between the Ellicott Square building where the power banquet was held and the old am as building, another mile marker in AC history. In 1886, the store became the first commercial business in the country to use alternating current generated electric lights, serving as a beacon shedding light onto the unknown stories of Western New York. I think there are about a half dozen unknown stories within that one. But yeah. uh, <laughs> right now, Marty is working with the city for use of that parkland. Once that's set, he'll begin the fundraising efforts. He expects the project to cost about $120,000. If all goes well, he'd like to see the new statue dedicated in time for the 122nd anniversary of the Power Banquet, which would be next January 12th. But uh, he's already gotten a number of letters of support for the, pro the project from places like the Museum of Science History Museum, uh, the Arts Commission, and uh, Buffalo Place. So uh, the, the ball is rolling. It's just a matter, of, I mean, the first step is getting that plot of land, and uh, he's working through the city right now to try and you know, work through the red tape. Then they'll flip the switch. And then they'll flip the switch. <laughs> All right. Great start. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Thank you, Pete.